बाई नाउ वी नो वॉट अ मेथड इज इफ अ मेथड विल रिटर्न अ टाइप ऑन नॉट टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस अ मेथड नॉट रिटर्निंग एनी वैल्यू टू द कॉलिंग मेथड इन दोज केसेज वी वर यूजिंग अ की वर्ड कॉल वॉइड बट नाउ वेन इफ यू हैव टू रिटर्न अ वैल्यू इफ यू आर आस्किंग अ मेथड टू रिटर्न अ वैल्यू और अ कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू इन दोज केसेज वॉट विल यू डू इन दोज केसेज यू नीड अ रिटर्न की वर्ड विच इज यू नीड सर्टन टाइप ऑफ वैल्यू टू बी रिटर्न नाउ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड वॉट अ रिटर्न की वर्ड डज एनी मेथड दैट यू यूज और एनी मेथड दैट वॉन्ट टू रिटर्न अ वैल्यू शुड यूज अ रिटर्न की वर्ड एंड दिस रिटर्न की वर्ड कैन ओनली बी रिटर्न विथ मेथड एंड नॉट विथ एनी अदर थिंग लाइक एनी वेरिएबल और एनी अदर सिस्टम सो इट नीड्स टू बी रिटर्न एज अ स्पेसिफिक मीनिंग इन अ कंपाइलर इट इज टू बी रिटर्न विथ मेथड ओनली इट कैन नॉट बी रिटर्न बाई एनी थिंग एल्स एंड द मेन पर्पज इट सीज दैट दिस रिटर्न की वर्ड forces the method to return a value to the calling method for an example you have certain methods declared and these methods return certain value to the main method so the return keyword described in the method will force that particular method to return a value to the main method of that particular type if you are returning an integer type value it should match with that integer type so let us see with the help of an example we have created a class called written value and then in the method we have declared as int public static int that is this method which is named as written number will return a value will return an integer value in the brackets we have created a variable called employee id so and so and we want to return this employee id which is of an integer type to the main method so what do you write if you have to return the value of this employee id we use the keyword call return that is return which is written in lower case return and what you want to return the variable name which is holding the value you write that variable name you close the braces and in the main method how do you call this is that first you are trying to call with the method like in case of void keyword also you just call the method like display and it displayed your output of that method because it did not return any value but in case of this method which is trying to return a value that value needs to be first stored somewhere and then printed so what you do is that you call this return number method and store the integer value in an integer type you can store the integer value only in an integer type therefore here the return value is of integer type therefore you need to write here as in if you are returning a string for an example you have created a local variable for this method called string name can you return that name no because the return type here is an integer type therefore the return type should be the same that you have declared and then it will hold the value of that particular type only therefore the value of employee id is been written and is been saved in eid which you have created under main method and then you display with the help of print ln method therefore written keyword is used with the method only if you want that particular method to pass some value to its calling method in this example we'll see what does this written keyword helps us with in our previous example we have seen that a void method helps us executing a block of statements but it does not return any value let us see what do you mean by returning a value i have created a method here public static int return number if you remember earlier you were writing void which did not return any value but then here we are trying to return a value so we open and close the brackets and the curly braces so the syntax remain the same we write the access modifier static what is the return type value and the method name what do you mean by this return type value we have declared a local variable called int employee id equals to 201 so we have initialized the variable employee id with the value 201 which is a local variable to return number method what we want to do is that we want to return this employee id to our main method how do we return that we need to write the keyword return and then the variable name in which the value is stored 
Now this value which is being stored in return, what kind of a value it is? It is a type of an integer. Therefore, we write int in, in place of void. Then we write our main method in which we will try calling our return number method. So we write public static void main string args open and close braces. In that again we create a uh, variable called employee id which will store the value written by the return number method. How it works is in our first method called return number was returning an integer value. That integer value is nothing but 201 being stored in employee id. When the main method is trying to call return number method the integer value needs to be stored somewhere to be printed. Therefore, we are storing the integer type value in an int type. So, int employee id. This int employee id variable is local to the main method. This employee id has nothing to do with the employee id of written number. Local variables are used within that particular method. You can also name it as EID. Anything that you think it's feasible, you can provide. Now the return value comes through return number method and is stored in EID. Let us print that system.out.println. This is our employee ID. So in your console, you can see that the file executed with the value 201.